All right, today we're going to um, talk a little bit about uh, content or copywriting. And we've got our mascot here, the uh, copy cat. So, our copycat has conveyed a very important part of writing content is you got to make your reader's heart sing. To understand how to do this, we're going to use um, Meetup as our sort of test bed. And what we're going to do is we're going to, well, not really scam Meetup, but we're going to use Meetup to its um, most advanced facility. What we're, what we're going to do is we're going to start a meetup group and we're going to arrange for meetup to send out almost 24,000 individual invitations to people who are just waiting to hear from us about our topic. Now, to get started though, we're going to have to talk about the old classic uh, copywriting template of ADA, which is Attention, Interest, Desire, Action. And I'm going to map that, uh, the reason I've got this brain up here, is I'm going to map ADA to the particular brain process uh, each step associates with our, our brain region. So the first thing is attention. So first off, you see this little part of the brain here, Broca's area? So Broca is uh, in the... Um, <laughs> In the bar bouncer brain box, box meaning a model, uh, so every part of the brain's got a bouncer at the door, uh, and the bouncer's job is to keep crap out. Um, and so Broca's job is first off, he's the first bouncer, and Broca says, uh, You only get in here uh, if you're, uh, you know, a hot chick. Oh, well, actually, it's, it's, uh, it's even farther than that, it's a unique. Uh, mesmerizing, intriguing um, person. So you can only get through Broca if you're unique. Now once you get through the Broca bouncer, then you go all the way back, like here's Broca right here, then information goes do 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 bang back here to Wernicke, which is this area here. And what Wernicke says is the next uh, brain bouncer at the bar, at the bar of your brain, is um, is it relevant? So this map maps to the uh, ADA topic interest. So Broca is attention, Wernicke is interest, and Wernicke says if it's relative, if it if it ain't relative, you get bounced. So it's got to be relative. If it's relative, then you get to get, make it farther along the the corridor to get into the club. Next place you go is, you know, uh, Broca's, Wernicke, and then bang, back up here to the prefrontal cortex. And actually just the front of the prefrontal cortex right here. So you bounce here, front, the mid, middle, back, bang, up to the front, here to the prefrontal cortex. And prefrontal cortex says, is this information I know it's unique and relevant. However, is this information, well, and is this information uh, actionable by me right now, preferably with very little time, uh, talent, uh, money, energy, uh, very little resource. In other words, uh, that means that it's uh, actionable now. If something requires tons of resource, even if you've got the resource, it takes a long continuum to get it implemented. So the prefrontal cortex is actually a uh, a bouncer that has to do with implementation time. So if you uh, if you pass the bar bouncer of uh, can I you know implement this thing now, which maps to the desire piece of the ADA template, then you progress on into the back part of the prefrontal cortex and on through the brain uh, through the uh, the pre-motor and more motor and sensory. Uh, you go through all the other parts of the brain to actually uh, be able to uh, put the information into action. So, and actually we ought to talk about two sort of forms of action. There's maps, which are massive action plans, and snaps, which are smart and gnarly action progressions. So a map, a massive action plan, I hear a lot of people use that term. A plan, you know, is it's very passive. It's something you think about doing and may or may not ever execute. 
Uh, it's the ready aim fire model. Now the more of the Dan Kennedy model is a ready fire aim model. In other words, if you got a big artillery gun pointed up in the air and you're you know lobbing artillery shells over at the enemy, uh, first thing you do is you guesstimate where the shell's going to drop and then you fire one off. Yeah, you don't sit back and and sit around trying to figure out, you know, you do a bunch of math to get right on the money because uh, if you ain't firing, the other guys are firing. In other words, your competitors. So, you know, whoever hits the mark first wins. And the best way to hit the mark is you start lobbing shells and then you look at where the shell hit and you refine your aim and your trajectory. And um, so, you know, the arc of your, um, whatever your action is. So a uh, snap, a smart, uh, gnarly action progression. A progression means that he ain't planning about it. Your planning takes about 30 seconds and you figure out, you know, basically what you're going to do. And then you get on with progressing through. In other words, a progression is you, you do refine, do refine, do refine. So the feedback of every time you do something of what you learn, that goes into the refinement of what goes next. So now, now you understand how the brain works. You got uh, Broca as attention, Wernicke is interest, prefrontal cortex, uh, front part is um, desire and is actionable by me, and then the rest is the action plan and implementation. So now you got the uh, background of Ada. Let's go over here to uh, Meetup and take a look and see what we got going on here. So here's, uh, here's my main Meetup group. And the way we're going to use Meetup is we're going to create what I call a router group. Uh, my main group, uh, you can see, has got uh, 1,506 people on it. Uh, that's in the top 10 largest meetup groups in Austin. Uh, we just had a, a new person join today here. Uh, and so what this group is going to be used as is your residual group. Now, meetup doesn't have a way to merge groups together. So what we're going to do is we're going to create groups over time and those groups are only going to run for a finite period of time because you only get the email sent to a whole bunch of people to join your group every time the group uh, forms for the first time. So, you know, uh, it'd, be our, it'd be way easier if you could um, have uh, email sent out to, uh, you know, people on um, uh, waiting lists that uh, for our events. So let, let's actually talk about the waiting list. Let's let's pick a waiting list here and just give you an idea so here's in Austin here's the waiting list for entrepreneurs so 2239 people are going to get an email if when we form our group we pick the category of entrepreneur uh, although let's see meetup calls it something different they call it a topic uh, so if we look at uh, for example a topic of SEO Eh, not so good. 452 people uh, marketing. 813. Um, new in town is usually a big one. Oh, 2,500 people almost. So you get the idea. So these are waiting lists. And unfortunately, Meetup also has the concept of a waiting list for events. Um, be sure to be clear about the difference of those two. These are topic waiting lists. In other words, these people are camped on a topic. So every time a meetup group, a new meetup group forms and chooses the topic or category of new in town, these 2,491 people are going to get an email. It says there's a new group that applies to the new in town topic you're camped on. So let's go back here. Um, so uh, here we're at, uh, this is a, a group um, uh, front page, but it's it's the, got the same banner on the top of everything. So we're going to say uh, start a new meetup group. And the first thing you'll notice here is this zip code. I'm actually in 78749 in Austin. I set it to 7857 though because, um, well, let's see. I'm, I'm going to make a list of resources as I go along here of things to help people understand is, uh, let's see, uh, waiting lists uh, to um, how to uh, find those in Google because there's no direct link in Meetup. In other words, it used to be you could easily go and find different waiting lists inside of Meetup. Now there is no way. In other words, you just have to know how to manually type in a freaking link to get there. Um, this zip code is the second thing. So 
uh, I'll put on here of how to research picking your uh, account zip code so in your account here we'll go look at this account here under account general if I go over here to location in Austin you see the zip code is 78757 and my hometown is Bowie if you're from Bowie be sure and tell me you saw this how weird would that be all right so uh, if I'd set this to 78749 well let's see um, well, I'll just give you an example let's go back to the uh, waiting list for entrepreneurs 2239 now let's see what happens if I change my uh, location to my home zip code here this is the easiest way to do this 78749 alright submit you can do it. All right, now we're going to go back to see this 2239. Now watch what happens when I reload the page. Oh, 2220. It went down by 19 people. So let's go back and change this to location. Shoot, what was that? Uh, 57. So basically what I did was, um, and I'll, um, let's see, how to research. I'll talk about in another video how to research picking your home or account zip code because where you pick your account zip code determines these total numbers here. So for see, this will go back up to 2239. So what you do is you do research to figure out what the right zip code is to pick so that your topics like uh, for entrepreneurs has the the most uh, number of people because based on your account zip code is the number of people that are going to get an email inviting them to your group so you might as well have the zip code that's going to get the most email to the most people all right so uh, we got our zip code now group name we're just going to make up something random here uh, content uh, crafter cartel got a little alliteration there now look what happens when I clicked on in the group description here notice what happens here it built a meetup link for me now this gets a little complicated because once you've got that meetup group link registered uh, if you close down that group gotta have another little bump of chocolate here if you close down that group it's kinda like uh, Facebook or YouTube or Blip you can never use that link again so we're gonna Hack on the end um, kung fu whoops fung fu about kung fu and the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm planning on throwing away this group and if I you know if a thousand people join in a few days then <laughs> I may uh, may like to go back and just take the kung fu off and actually keep that group active but anyway for right now we'll pick a random you can put anything on the end of this just so uh, when they dissolve the group, it's just a random link that you don't care about. Uh, we'll say, uh, what are the members called? Uh, crafty In fact, you know, we ought to let's have some fun here. Let's change the alliteration here to all K's. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Well, that's a good thing to keep in mind is if I'd had this some random, you know, like junk typed here in the group description, it would have actually made that group. Oh, actually, no, it wouldn't. I haven't checked the pledge down here. So let's change the alliteration here. All right, now the next thing to keep in mind, I pledge to create real face-to-face -face community. You must accept in order to create a meetup group. Now this is interesting because what meetups trying to do is keep you from 
running virtual meetups. Uh, so I'll put on my list here is how to run um, non-local, meaning uh, national and global uh, physical events, and virtual events along with local events. So we're going to check this. Uh, now it used to be this didn't exist and then they put this on here and it was optional and now it's mandatory. And if they figure out that you're scamming the system and aren't actually running physical meetups, they will disallow your group. And let's let's talk about that for a minute too because our whole point here is to get this group to actually go through. And I'm actually going to create this group to um, promote a talk I'm doing in about a week. So I really probably should have done this about a week ago to make sure it has time to form. The group uh, has to have time to form. So what will happen once we create this group, then it goes to meetup.com for review. One or two things will happen. They will either say, nope, we won't let you make the group because we think you're trying to promote a product or you're somehow other, otherwise breaking our toss. Uh, let's see, also I'll put another item on here is uh, uh, getting around uh, meetup toss breakers. As I've been using meetup so long, I, I can always get around their toss. So what will happen is once we uh, create the group here, then it goes to meetup and one or two things will happen. It will either be bounced and they'll say nope or it, the group will form at which time you'll get an um, a email message that the group's formed. Um, let's just, uh, for the group de description here, uh, let's just do the quick uh, ADA attention. And uh, thanks uh, Neville Medora for um, I was uh, going through one of uh, Neville's courses, uh, one of his copywriting courses. In fact, um, put another note on here to put a, uh, a set of uh, resource links, uh, including uh, Neville's. Um, there are several of his products I think are really cool. And in fact, his um, copywriting course We'll put uh, for the action, we're going to do a smart actually, uh, smart and early action progression instead of a call to action. Um, so uh, Neville, one of the things he does is he, he really starts out and actually writes into where he's going to write his copy, attention, interest, desire, action, which I think is pretty cool. Um, now Meetup gives you some good uh, information here. Uh, a great group description explains uh, so uh, the why of the group and um, oh well, why that's why I started why you decided to start the group oh actually that's pretty stupid because uh, using the WIFM model of reality is your audience only cares what's in it for them you know they're always asking WIFM what's in it for me so why you started a group, who the heck cares? Unless it's a really, really good story that's going to create attention. Um, you know, if you're starting some, you know, like, uh, I don't know, uh, salvaging treasure ships off the Gulf of Mexico, and the reason you started that is because you were walking on the beach when you were, you know, um, four and a half years old on a stormy day and the sea blew up a gold doubloon on the shore. Well, I mean, that's a pretty good story. So why you started, the, why you decided to start the group is so that you all can pull your money and die for gold doubloons. That'd be pretty cool. Otherwise, unless it's really, really cool, um, you know, because I feel I require to serve my community, that ain't a good reason to uh, waste time, um, you know, taking up space for people to read. You know, make sure it's interesting. So the purpose of the group, that is uh, the why of the group uh, and um, who should join. And we're going to talk uh, much more about that um, uh, here in a minute. And we're going to call that gauntlet gauntleting. And in fact, let's take a look at... Um, uh, 
do, 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 do. we're going to bring up another web browser here because I have to log out of Meetup. Meetup is a little bit stupid. Let's put this away for just a second. Because once you join a group, you never see the Meetup description anymore, which is just freaking stupid as all get out. The last time I checked, it was something like 12 or 13 or 14,000 requests from Meetup organizers to be able to leave um, the Meetup description pinned. And what I mean by that, to, to leave it pinned, is let's uh, bring up uh, Meetup here again. And let's look at my uh, how how my group uh, my main group here looks. So here's how my main group looks. It's just got an event feed here. Here's how, well, this is how it looks when I'm logged in. Here's how it looks when you're new and you aren't logged in and haven't joined or haven't joined the group. If you aren't logged in, Meetup has no idea who you are, so you get to see the same thing. So it's the only way to see the Meetup descriptions really, or what it's actually going to look like to new people. So here's what my meetup group looks like to new people or logged out people. Here's what it looks like, which is stupid as all get out. Meetup, you guys are idiots um, for having no facility to leave the meetup description pin. Um, if you look over here, you can see the uh, our sponsors and underneath um, if we had some uh, meetup perks. Let's see sponsors. Oh, I guess I've got the old old style. There's a couple of formats you can use for meetup groups and um, this is the old style that's just got um, um, sponsors on the side. Sometimes you'll see groups that have what are called perks on the side here too. And it used to be that when you could have a meetup group description pinned or it was always open, then you could in essence sell advertising on your meetup group description and monetize your meetup group. It was very elegant. Um, and that really um, messed around with a lot of our business models when Meetup took that away. So we'll uh, set these back aside for right now. And actually, um, I think I'm going to, um, because I'm going to target the category of uh, writers here, some writers are persnickety about. Um, misspelling things, so uh, we'll uh, defer to the persnicketiness of somebody, some writers. Let's go back to this uh, for a minute. Um, so this group, and I really got to rewrite this, this is uh, it ain't the best copy in the world. Um, so attention, what we're going to do is we're going to say um, uh, you're the right place if you uh, love, and we're we're going to use this. Um, in fact, we're going to we're we're just going to start with this um, attention. Um, you're the right place if you love, and we're going to fill that out here in a minute. So that really goes to saying uh, who should join, and that's really the the first thing because you know what's in it for me is the question people are asking. So we're going to have to tell them you're the right place if you love. Um, uh, or um, if you let's okay, let's just let's just have some fun with this right now. Let's get rid of this stupid window here. Dad, come it, stop it, meet up. <sighs> All right. Um, I wonder. Uh, let's let's go. Uh, actually, th this thing's going to keep popping up here, so we're gonna we're just gonna put this here. If you have to sing for your s supper. All right. Uh, maybe not sing. Um, uh, you have to have to. Well, let's see. You have to sing for your supper, or have to write or speak for your supper. In other words, your content pays your bills. I don't know, I'm just making this up. Uh, so that's both uh, attention and also um, it's it's sort of our also getting into the interest part. Um, 
So actually, the actually these are going together, and then um, the desire is um, um, we'll focus on bootstrapping million dollar ideas into million dollar cash flows uh, rapidly let's see um, cash flows um, with near zero uh, time talent and money let's see if we can make this bigger here all right um, so uh, so attention and interest this actually sort of gets both these you the right place if you have if you have to sing for your supper or have to write or speak for your supper in other words your content pays your bill in other words uh, content you produce pays your bills uh, and then desire um, uh, so we've got Broca here is the unique part and Wernicke the relevant part and then uh, the desire which is uh, back up to the prefrontal cortex which is going to be you know is it actionable by me with a low amount of uh, time talent and money so we'll focus on bootstrapping um, pretty much everybody knows what bootstrapping is now which is you know starting up something for um, very little resource a uh, million dollar ideas into million dollar cash flows now who you know doesn't have I mean almost everybody I can think of has a million dollar idea and so we're going to talk about how to bootstrap that into to million dollar cash flows with near zero time talent and money um, by producing our through um, wildly effective um, content. And by the way, we're going to hit Broca again. Uh, if you're sick, weak, or easily attended, please stay home as attending our live events as um, people who attend our live events tend to be irreverent reprobatish and wicked smart now that little sentence there does a couple of things first off if you're sick weak or easily whoops left out offended here or missed a word offended about which by the way this is really important to notice I'm reading out loud I ain't just reading this in my head when you read things out loud you you catch things that you miss like I had the word attend there so if you're sick, weak, or easily offended, please stay home. Because people who attend our live events tend to be irreverent, reprobatish, and wicked smart. Um, their charter members of the matrix busting red pill poppers club now this does a couple of things first off if you're sick weak and easily offended please stay home and because I'm gonna tell them why first off I am interested in seeing anybody that's uh, sick weak or easily offended if, if people are e especially if they're easily offended 
they should freaking stay away because they will be offended. Um, and then I say people who attend our events tend to be irreverent, reprobatish, and, and, and wicked, wicked smart. I'm going to say reprobatish, wicked, cool, and wicked smart. Now, oh, you know, actually, I'm going to do a couple of things here. I'm going to say free live events. Uh, I put free in there because free is a tap uh, that um, uh, really draws people in. Live events is going to do a couple of things. First off, it's going to tell people that um, uh, we're doing live events and also it's going to notify the meetup guys when they're reviewing this group that we're actually even doing uh, live events. So remember, I mean, this the only way this group is going to make is if, um, you know, this pledge down here, I pledge to create real face-to-face -face community. So the first uh, clue that this is real events is uh, people who attend our free live events tend to be blah, 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 and who, what they are. So we're notifying Meetup and also prospective members that we got live events going on. And then um, uh, I go on to say... Um, uh, the people who attend are charter members of the Matrix Busting Red Pill Poppers Club, which is uh, a group of us that have met for years and years, and that will notify um, a lot of people. A lot of people understand what that is, and uh, they'll be drawn in. Now, uh, for the SNAP, the um, uh, Smart and Early Action Plan. So, what next? Hit the big red join we're gonna make this capital hit the big red join button and we gotta look here and see where it is uh, directly below it used to be up here in the right hand corner. Oh, actually, it still is. There's a join us up there, but there's now a big red join button down here. Uh, directly below. Oh, well, let's number these two. Uh, what to do next? Hit the big red join button directly below to um, invite other uh, people like you to join. Remember no weaklings. Or let's say remember only the strong. Uh, let's see. Um, and let's see. Uh, we'll do a third one just because. And remember only invite people of sturdy stuff who are wicked cool and wicked smart. I'm even going to put my uh, David. Um, I'm even going to let's 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 just uh, get uh, freaking random here. Um, I'm going to put my home phone number on here. This is freaking ballsy. Um, let's see. Uh, what is my uh, main number here? It's 4308 and Skype. Um, so, again, I'm putting this on here because this is my... Um, oh, in fact, let's do this. See, my goal is, because I've got a, a, an event coming up here uh, really quickly, is to get meet up just to look at this and pass it through. So I'm putting my if I'm putting my home number and my Skype on here as contact information too, it's pretty certain that uh, I'm a real person. So hit the big red uh, join button directly below. Invite other people you'd like to um, to um, have attend. Let's see. You'd like to uh, let's see. Invite other people. Do like to play hard. Uh, 
and then let's see um, uh, RSVP events immediately venues or small seating limited and the only reason I put three things in there is if you put two um, items in a list uh, brains treat that as a, a distraction and a mismatch because if you put one item it's a it's really bad because people bounce around trying to figure out where the other items are if you put I two items then it bounces around looking for a third item and so what you're looking for is um, in copy you're looking for to create a momentum of reading um, I call it gravity and uh, let's see what is uh, Neville calls it the slippery slope which I think is a good way of saying it too so what you're doing is the farther you slip and slide down the slope oh, slip slides down the slope um, the more speed you build up and same way with uh, gravity the farther you get down through this progression the more gravity you get so uh, now we'll take out uh, these little uh, subheads here so uh, those were just uh, little um, templates for us all right now uh, let's see uh, this is probably good enough for right now so now we'll hit next all right pick a theme uh, I don't know What's frosted look like? Yeah, that looks pretty freaky. Let's just do the let's just do the default standard thing. Although, let's see, they have a let's see wine. Let's see what this looks like. Wine. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, we'll just pick the, some random. Oh, rainforest. Let's see greens for money. Yeah, I think we'll go for uh, wine. Oh, make your own theme. I guess uh, I ought to, I guess I ought to come up with uh, some sort of theme and brand all my websites. That'd probably be good. So next, all right. Now here, now here's the here's the big deal. Oh, freaking, let's get rid of this thing here. Two, 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 two. Come on, you can do it. Now, um. Here's my list of topics I'm going to choose, and I've already researched these, and so that's going to be another thing on here that we've got to talk about uh, is um, uh, how to research categories or meetup calls and topics for maximal or maximum maximal um, initial email invites and this is as this is a, uh, a freaking long long conversation Austin's a pretty small place so uh, my categories are going to invite around 24,000 people if I was doing this in New York I could easily easily get an email sent out to uh, well uh, I don't even need a calculator 10,000 times 15 is 100, 150,000. So someplace between 100 and 200,000 people I could get an email to. Imagine how much it would cost you to go to a list broker and how long it would take you to curate lists to figure out even what your statistics are going to be when you when when you know that these people that you're going to email to today directly are going to um, be very very likely uh, to join your group and meet with you face to face and if you can get in a room with people face to face you can create rapport and a connection now here is a really important um, question I'm sure somebody's gonna ask is well if you do this uh, by way of an Austin zip code you get 24,000 how about just setting your zip code to New York and doing it there if I was doing a live event in New York um, I I do that in fact, uh, I've suggested to Sean Collins for um, Affiliate Summit that he go through and, you know, create these uh, router groups for every um, New York and every Vegas Affiliate Summit to route new people every time. Um, my focus here is to do what I call um, 
um, well, Dean Ropard, I guess, kind of came up with the, the term of buzz snatching. And this is more of a buzz uh, cultivation where you create buzz. I call it local epicenter buzz marketing. And the way it works is you create in your local epicenter or you create an epicenter in your local area that creates so much buzz within your category, uh, category or niche or topic um, that what happens is that you begin um, uh, jumping across the local area boundaries. In other words, when we first started our uh, raw food and superfood um, uh, meetup group back in 2000, you know, first three years we ran it, um, we didn't even really think of it as a business. And we, in fact, we just um, uh, did uh, local area get togethers or meetings. Um, which were raw food feasts and other uh, informational type of um, gatherings. And it was three years before we ever promoted our first product. And then when we did promote our first product and we saw the numbers, it was like, holy moly, we got a, we got a business here. So uh, local epicenter buzz marketing is where you create buzz in your local area because if you can get in front of um, uh, several thousand people in your local area, the amount of cost to you and the amount of time it takes to do that is very, very low. Because in Austin, let's just uh, let's just look here right quick. Uh, let's pull up this. Um, let's go to meet up here. I'm, I'm going to log in. Um, So now we're going to go to the first meetup um, homepage and let's see. Well, yeah, let's see freaking meetup. Uh, let's do find a meetup group. Let's see how what that does. Okay, here we go. All right, now look at this. Uh, let's see. I I don't think. Let's see if I could log out. I think I get the same view. Oh, here we go. Uh, so. Um, Seven eight seven four nine. Let's do this. Let's say search here. I'm kind of okay. I'm kind of mucking around here because um, uh, Meetup keeps changing their interface. Let's put this away for just a minute here and let's see how powerful Meetup is. Um, so let's look um, in a hundred miles of uh, Austin. Uh, most members. Now, first, the first number here is within 100 miles of Austin, there are 1,185 meetup groups. Now, if you're doing uh, good bridging, which means you bridge from one topic to another, in other words, if you t say I've got a superfood business, which I do, that imports superfoods, then I can easily bridge that to uh, meeting singles uh, groups or wellness groups. Uh, which is a direct bridge or business groups or SEO groups or content writing groups because the better your brain works the better you can perform. So uh, even if I can only hit 10% of those groups that's still almost 200 groups and if I look into San Antonio um, and I look then into Houston and Dallas within you know my radius of a three-hour one-way drive I you know there's probably um, you know, five to ten thousand meetup groups, and let's look at some of the size of these. Here's a meetup group here in Austin that's got forty-one, forty-nine. Now, stand up paddle, Austin. I ain't gonna be doing anything there. Uh, awesome, Austin. I'm young, social, and Austin twenties and thirties fun. There's twenty-six, eighty-nine. So you get you get the idea here. Uh, let's see what size my group is, or what number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. Let's see, uh, all groups. See, this is groups with meetups. So, uh, oh, okay, here, so number just changed. 2,130 groups here in Austin because that's all groups. Groups with meetups means groups that have actual events listed on their calendar right now that are active. So let's see, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So my, my group is the 11th largest group and I've got, uh, you know, maybe a couple of hundred to go to get up near the top, uh, up in the top five. So uh, 
that's one of the things I'm going for right now is to get get to be the largest group in Austin. So let's go back to our um, oops. Let's go back to our uh, uh, topic list here. So I've gone through, and we'll talk another time about how to how to choose the topics. But we're going to choose the topics so we hit this number here, which is already up over twenty four thousand now today. Uh, I'm guessing. So here we go. Topics. SEO. Uh, web design. Writers. Uh, women's social. Working. Women. Um, so let me just uh, mention here, uh, I'm targeting women on this group because women, um, a little statistic is that 85% um, of all self-development uh, products, which are live events, uh, tickets to live events, uh, information products, written books, e uh, electronic books like uh, Kindle downloads or things like that, Nook downloads, 85% um, of those are purchased by women between the ages of 35 and 55. So if you ain't targeting women in your marketing, you just walked away from 85% of your money. So now you know why I'm picking these um, uh, topics here uh, that are targeting women. Let's see, women entrepreneurs. Marketing, internet, marketing. Did you take that card of Jeff's? All right, uh, let's see. Uh, next up is small business. Next up is uh, Business strategy and networking, entrepreneur, new technology, which is a huge group. Um, I looked that up, and I uh, uh, there's thousands of people waiting on new technology. Uh, self improvement. self-improvement. Oh, there's a dash in there. That's why I was having a hard time figuring out how to type in self-improvement. It's because for some reason it has a dash there. So I'm going to go over here. Well, I'll, I'll make a note to put a, a dash in uh, self-improvement there. All right, let's see. Uh, new in town. You can do it, meet up, come on. And meeting new people. And meeting new people had some outrageous number, like 5,000 people waiting on it in Austin. So, so here's the thing. You've only got 15 topics. Notice if you look here, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 topics. So you'll notice like, uh, business strategy and networking. There were there are other uh, categories similar to that. This is the largest number of people waiting in Austin. Same thing with self improvement. There's also personal growth, um, and law of attraction and self improvement probably gets most of those people already. So you have to pick and choose. I mean, if you could do a hundred categories, then I'd um, you know shotgun a bunch of new ones. But since I can't, then this is what I got. So this is what I got. All right, so next. All right. Um, so profile requ requirements for new members. Um, 
I'm going to flip off photo for now because I'm, I just like them to introduce themselves and have a profile questions. Um, um, you know, you, you can get real fancy on here, uh, or fancy. It would be smart if I did went through and did an ADA uh, email, welcome email, and also uh, gave people another action to do. For example, like uh, uh, fill out a um, uh, an application for uh, private activities or something. Which, if I had another, you know, if I'd done this three weeks ago, then I'd probably do this. Um, I'd, I'd go ahead and do a, a welcome email. Uh, profile questions. Um, let's see. Um, uh, what's a good uh, What's a good profile question? Um, uh, describe how you how you write or speak. For your supper. Actually, let's do, uh, let's see. Let's say link to your website and um, describe how you speak. Or how you, how you write or speak for your supper. See your meetup group. All right, so that's uh, you know that's that's it. Uh, okay, in about three group three days, your group will be announced to nearby people. Okay, so here you go. Look at this right here. Congratulations on your new meetup group. In about three days, your group will be announced to nearby people who may be interested in joining your group. That's where those topics come in. They, they, these people are going to get an email. All right, so uh, click here to get started. Um, I haven't uh, gone through all these, uh, but it'd probably be worthwhile to just watch this random thing. In fact, um, I don't even know how to get back to this. Top two, three. Hmm. Well, let's see. Um, Update your profile. Should I spread the word? Hmm. Well, let's see. Here is the getting. Oh, okay, so here's the getting started thing. We'll just uh, see. We're done with this, and so I'll just drop this in my meetup stuff folder here. All right. Now here's uh, here's something really important. Um. Uh oh, look at that. Uh, let's go to group cools and we're going to edit. I see something that kind of got messed up here. Uh, group name, what are members called? We're going to do this because of the cranky writers that may join. <laughs> Decrankify them. Okay, so we're going to get into this in a minute. Um, so uh, I'll see. This is screwed up too. I swear, Meetup just. So they've screwed our whole um, description up here. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about this in a minute. So the next thing we're going to do. First off, we're going to straighten out these, uh, the basics here. I'm going to submit this for right now just to change that one thing. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through and change some of the the. Um, uh, the the uh, we're under group tools uh, group settings right now we're gonna go change a few of these things because um, uh, meetup has screwed this up so royally and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually list uh, uh, two physical events or two events preferably two or three that are in physical venues very important you don't say that the you know the the event the venue will be announced sometime in the future. For God's sake, don't say it's a teleconference or a webinar, because your um, uh, your group will get uh, uh, booted. Um, so uh, we're going to put uh, at least two or three meetup groups on the calendar, physical meetups, and they're going to be at physical venues. Now here's a trick. 
Once Meetup approves your group or allows your group to form, it appears they never pay any attention to it after that because they got so much other, so many other new groups coming in the front end of their pipeline. So once your group forms, if you go back and change a venue, um, you can just change a venue. You can uh, flag it as a webinar. You can flag it, flag it as a teleconference. Uh, you can, you can even potentially delete the whole event. So the only goal is to get um, uh, your group made. But I'd, I'd recommend that at least for the first several uh, meetups, you do them physically. So let's fix this first. Uh, you're the right place if you have to sing for your supper. So you meet up, took out all the spacing, or have to write or speak, or better said, you have to write or speak for your supper. In other words, content you produce pays your bills. We'll focus on bootstrapping your million dollar ideas into your million dollar cash flows with near zero time, talent, and money through wildly effective uh, content uh, production and deployment um, strategies. And by the way, oh by the way, oh by the way, Before you join this group, now this is a little NLP trick here. Um, in NLP, if a per, when a person reads that, um, what they see is join this group. It's like a command directly into their subconscious. Now, what I'm saying is before you join this group, and actually what they read is join this group because before you gets filtered out. So it's a NLP hook. And it's also kind of fun too. If you're sick, weak, easily offended, please stay home because people who attend our free live events tend to be irreverent, reprobate, wicked cool, and wicked smart. They're all, I'll say, most are charter members of the Matrix Bustin' Red Pill Poppers Club. So what's next? God, this is stupid that they take out all the formatting. Number one, hit the big red join button below. Hit the big red join button directly below. Actually, I'm going to put my last name in here too. All right. Um, okay, so uh, meetup group headline. Um, <clears throat> no, we'll just make some of the tips, tricks. Hack ticks for a crafty con. Let's see. Uh, I had a list of uh, K words here a minute ago. Let's see. Of um, what did I call these people? Like. Crafty content crafters. Okay, well, crafty content crafters. I guess we ought to figure out something. Uh... Oh, well, we'll leave it for right now. Um, okay, so we've got the zip code set where that's going to. Oh, you know, actually, this would be interesting. I guess I ought to try this because the location of the group. It might be that the location of the group is simply propagated out of your account details 
And so you might be able to change that to like a New York zip code or a Las Vegas zip code. Probably you can because a person might be running groups in multiple cities. So I suspect that whatever you've got this zip code set to is the people who receive the announcement message. All right, so next, um, let members suggest new made-up groups. God, turn this off. Uh, any organizer announces them or three members say they're attending. If you turn this sucker on at this level or this level, be prepared for a tsunami of spam because people will put all sorts of um, random stuff up there. In fact, I'm just going to say, uh, let organizers, I'm going to say I don't even really care about me as an organizer announcing them and having people vote. I'm just going to say no, only organizers can add new meetups. Um, choose a file for, let's see here. Um, Oh, this is not right. It should say uh, this Mac. Uh, let's find a, maybe it's Sunfire. Hmm. Well, I uh, other than see where my uh, graphic is, let's just go over here. Come on. Uh, let's see here. I grow to my group and I go look under photos I usually use this big Sun here because it's kind of a branding thing that carries over from Sunfire Superfoods and Radical Health and wetware hacking uh, I tend to put that photo up there hmm well let's see what we got here uh, upload. Hmm. Well, I'm going to pause this and find my photo. All right, let's see. Uh, desktop uh, meetup. Now I found my uh, file here, my sunrise image. And you see the uploading the file thing down here. All right, so it's uploaded it. Photo coming soon, probably if we click this a couple of times, um, it'll actually show the photo. All right, uh, let's see, your members, we pretty much always got this. Okay, who can join this group? Anybody can join the group. Um, I'm going to leave this, anyone can join the group, because uh, uh, I don't want to go through and deal with uh, accepting people right now. Um, we've already... Um, done the profile questions this all looks good so we really don't even have to do submit but there's no cancel so we'll do that topics we've already done this just brings up the topic screen so if for example you um, uh, do some research and figure out better topics you can now keep in mind too these topics if you only put two or three topics in there whatever topics are listed here when that initial email goes out are only the people that are going to get uh, that initial email. If you go back after that email goes out and add a bunch of other topics, those people um, won't get any email, so that's no good. Uh, privacy, let's see. Um, oh, okay. Uh, um, yes, hide all group content from non members. Yeah, we, we'll just leave it open for right now. Who can create new pages? Uh, only the organizer and co-organizers. Otherwise, you got another uh, tsunami of spam because random people will join groups uh, looking for these open uh, page creation groups and they'll put uh, all sorts of random spam and uh, ads and junk on there. Let's see, I think these are all the theme stuff. Yeah, we don't care about that. We've already done that. Uh, venues. Um, this is if we're just going to add a venue, but we'll do that in line when we create the events. Uh, custom domains, if you've got a domain that you're going to have actually your meetup group be your domain, you can do that. Okay, optional features, this is really important here. 
All right. Um, we're going to turn the mailing list on. It says allow all members to send uh, email messages, but uh, organizers uh, must approve the message first. Um, because people are, you know, will tend to email stuff and they'll. Some of it is useful to the group. Most of it I'll reject, but occasionally there'll be something useful for the group. Um, I'm going to say um, keep message boards on, but disable new posts. So uh, what this means is that every time I create a new post or send out an email, I go back and I turn the message boards on so I can post that information to the message boards, which is kind of like a, a, a blogging system. Uh, if you just leave it on though, anybody again can go in and create a bunch of spam on your system. So turn it off. Um, I'm not going to go through and create a Google Analytics for this uh, uh, tag for this account because I'm going to only use it for a short term and then dissolve it. Member roles. I yeah, that's, uh, This is for assigning different roles to different members and it tells you what the role is. So um, just to be clear, we're going to run this group as a router group, and uh, at the end of its life cycle, we're going to close the group, and we're going to tell people, you know, if you'd like to pick up the recordings when they're announced for the meetups that we did or other resources or whatever, then you have to join the inside track party. So basically, it's a roundabout way to, you know, every few weeks send, uh, you know, ten or 20,000 email to prospective people to get them to join a temporary group and attend some events, create some rapport, do some local epicenter buzz marketing, and then route them back to your main group. All right, so now let's take a look and see what our uh, now we can't look at our group, of course, because we're logged in. Uh, let's see what the link is for this group. All right, now um, I'm just going to go through and do a couple of quick things here, and I'm unsure exactly how to do this because the meetup keeps changing how to do it, so I'm going to refer back to my original group. I'm going to look under the group tools of my inside track party. I'm going to go to the basics and look at the markup. Oh, okay. All right, so this is what our group. Um, let's just look at the HTML here, right quick. So this is green, blue text underline. All right. So here's what we're going to do now. Here, this is the way our 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 group currently looks here. Um, So we're going to go into the group tools here and we're just going to go into here and say, see there's no way to change colors. Uh, again, meetup is pretty stupid. So I'm going to go uh, style equals, oh, let's, let's do that a little slower. Uh, I clicked on the HTML tag, so we're going to operate on the raw HTML. And I'm going into the uh, paragraph tag here, and I'm going to say style equal color green. That'll be all right for now. So green, 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 green. No, let's let's do this. Let's change this one to purple. I don't know. Some random stuff. Uh, red. Green. Green, 
And what we're going to do on this one is we're going to say um, color red. Um, and meetup strips out. If you put in um, the font weight heavy or bold or whatever it is, I have to look it up. Uh, into the style tag here, Meetup will strip that out. So we're going to put a strong tag. And we're going to say um, green and green, strong and strong. And this is going to be green. And um, so first off, we're going to update this and see. Yeah, I mean, that's looking a little bit better. Um, but we'll, we'll just, um, that's interesting. Submit this. Sometimes the photo gets lost when you resubmit um, on Meetup groups, so you know be sure and check that to make sure. Uh, now, one other thing we're going to do here is we're going to go back to this link. Uh, do 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 do. Meetup is always changing how this works exactly, so we're going to find out now. So they messed it up again. All right, so in fact, let's see if we if we mouse over. Okay, so that's not a link anymore. So what we're going to do here is. <laughs> okay, so we've got a um, let's see if that no nope, that didn't do it either. So Meetup is I mean I, I got to tell you these guys that wrote this code are just freaking idiots. Um, okay, so this is uh, the style. It's just not, it's really, really cumbersome to mess around with this stuff. Um, okay, so green. Actually, we're just going to take this out for right now because, like I said, Meetup's so stupid that we're going to have to play some games to figure out how this is. So this should be all green. So now there's a strong tag in there. It looks like that Meetup is put in there still because they're stupid. So we've got a closing strong there. We've got no other strongs any place. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Space it out a little bit so we can see what's happening. Okay, strong open, strong close. No strongs there. Oh, there is a strong here still. Okay, so um, okay, so that gets rid of that strong, and we do an update now. Let's go ahead and change this to a link.
All right, now we've got the link code in there. Now we see everything's green except the link code, which is good. So now we're going to go in here <clears throat> only to this link, and we're going to say this link's going to be strong, which is bold, and the style's going to be blue, and the text decoration is going to be underline. <clears throat> we're going to close the strong tag here, and if we're lucky, it'll be right. Oh, thank goodness it's right. Okay, now, um, so we're going to save this. Well, it's freaking right. Now, the other thing that I'd probably do if I had more time is put a video in here. Um, and that's a whole other thing we'll put on my list here is how to embed media, meetup uh, description and event videos. Anyway, so we're, we're, we're all done with this now. Let's click on home and just to make sure now this is our browser that uh, is uh, logged out and we see that meetup's still a little bit stupid they don't wrap the the, the um, their system is non-fluid which is extremely stupid um, that being the case, um, I'd probably go back in and um, uh, maybe even put line breaks. In fact, let's let's do this. Let's go to group tools, and since Meetup is so stupid, um, we're going to look at how. See this ragged edge here? Is uh, this is about? Uh, we're going to man. We're going to put uh, manual breaks in here and of course meetup is stupid again well not really stupid in this case they're creating new paragraphs so we're going to go in and we're going to actually strip out um, we'll focus on we're going to change this P here to a break character which is just like a carriage return and take out this P altogether and this one then becomes another break and this comes out so if we get lucky we'll have a paragraph that's broken here okay good and everything else is uh, pretty close except this um, line here so we're gonna go we'll just do this in the HTML um, break Okay, now we've got a uh, fairly well formatted um, uh, meetup group description here. I'll make it a little bit bigger here. You're the right place if you have to sing for your supper. You know, actually, let's change this. Uh, have to. That's kind of funky. If you. Or. All right, you're the right place if you sing for your supper or write or speak for your supper. In other words, content you produce pays your bills. We'll focus on bootstrapping your million dollar ideas into your million dollar cash flows with near zero time, talent, money through wildly uh, effective content and production deployment strategies. Now I'm going to also change this and here to a plus.
Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, before you join this group, if you're sick, weak, or easily offended, please stay home because people who attend our live, our free live events, I, I could probably uh, bowl that too. So let's go in and just bowl that right quick. Uh, our free live events. All right, people who attend our free live events, and actually, I could probably make that red too. Let's just let's just make it red. See, I mean, Meetup's pretty uh, easy to work with. Let's see, free free live events. All right, so we're gonna add in here um, style equal color red. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to change um, this to purple. Give it a little contrast, and also um, there's already a couple lines of red there. There we go. Uh, people who attend our free live events tend to be irreverent, reprobate, wicked cool, wicked smart. Uh, most are charter members of the Matrix Bust and Red Pill Poppers Club, and actually that could be purple too. Now, what I'm doing is I'm 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 creating um, uh, Broca events through my copy here. Do, 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 do. All right, so probably if I put a strong. Uh, style equal color purple I could probably make that uh, let's see So there's an M around the strong, strong for that. For, so the free live events, see there's an EM tag right there. So, uh, and that's before the strong. So that should be EM. And you might think that it would probably be, um, okay to try to do that with their WYSIWYG editor up here but it's so broken that what will happen is if you try to use that WYSIWYG uh, anytime you have um, uh, edited anything manu like, manually like we've been doing it'll end up all mucked to, to um, Hades and back. Oh, see it's mucked here. So now we have to figure out what's screwed up here. And actually, I'm going to show you a little trick. Come in. All right. So now, see, we've got this file over here on our desktop. I've just uh, brought this into the VI editor, and I'm gonna I copied all. Oops, that didn't work. Uh, I'm copying all of this information in here, so I can figure out what Meetup is screwed up here, or what I've screwed up. And we can take a look at this and just cut and paste it in. Because what? See, Meetup they think they're smart, and they you know uh, continually. Um, reformat stuff for you to help you out but it is really difficult to tell what the heck is going on uh, 
All right, let's take a look here. So there's something broken after the matrix busting red pill poppers club. So what next? So something is probably broken right here. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, so for some reason, Meetup went in and changed the colors. Lord knows uh, why they did that, but they did. Uh, so hopefully what we can do is we're going to turn off uh, set no number. And I put some trailing open and close tag there for some Lord knows why. Um, all right. Make this a little bigger here. All right, so now what we should be able to do here is just take this, copy it into here. And sure enough, now it, uh, we've got our colors back correctly. So it's way easier to look at this here and tell what's going on than try to look at it inside Meetup's edit, uh, WYSIWYG editor that continually reformats it over and over. Uh, so we'll go back to home here and we'll click on this. Oh, now it's reset it again. Hmm. All right, so let's see here. All right, let's see here. going slow for some reason. Ah! That looks like Meetup maybe. Uh, oh, here we go. Now yeah, it's back. All right. So now if we look here, we've got uh, people who attend our free live events uh, tend to be irreverent, reprobate, wicked, cool, wicked, smart. Uh, most are charred members of the Red Matrix Busting Red Pill Poppers Club. So what's next? Hit the red but big red uh, join button directly below, and probably actually. Do this.
Oh, okay, let's see. So there's actually a this doesn't need to have be styled again. What I'm going to do is change this a little bit so that the uh, uh, join button kind of stands out. So what I'm going to do here is put a span I think this will make this a little more, um, have it pop out a little bit more. So we'll just copy this in here and say update. Yeah. And we'll say submit that to save it. Some places it says submit, some places say save. All right, so now all this is in green. It says hit the big red join button directly below. Invite other people who like to play hard. RSVP events immediately. Venues are small. Seating is limited. Remember, only invite people of sturdy stuff who are wicked cool and wicked smart. And actually, I am going to change this color on this last one down here to purple also. So that means we better go over here and change this too in case we um, cut and paste it again. Now this also, uh, because we've got this in a text file here, it also means uh, if we um, uh, start a um, another group, it's really easy to go and cut and paste that in. So now we've got, uh, everything's pretty much done on our uh, meetup group here. Uh, let's do uh, this. And I mean, you can use any uh, editor you like. I, I just happen to like uh, VI because I grew up in the Unix world and I can type far faster with VI than um, any sort of WYSIWYG editor. Okay. Now this is the event that I'm going to do. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, this is on the um, whatever next Thursday is. So we're going to go here to home, schedule a new meetup. Oh, okay, so I, I did. That's weird. It looks like they've got some new interface. So I just put a placeholder in, um, and now what I'm going to do is go into the HTML editor and type in my code here. Uh, how to find us opposite end of the street from the mean-eyed cat bar. 
Uh, let's see, I'm going to say only members can see where this meetup's happening. I'm going to say uh, Beat Cafe. Uh, let's see, this is from um, Well, we probably ought to go look here and see what time and the actual details of this event to make sure I don't mess it up. Okay, so the next one is coming up at um, should be next Thursday, the seventh. Oh, okay, so she called it a different name. Okay, well, that's good. Just making sure I was still on the the uh, venue here. Okay, so here... Um, here here's a, the event listing. So it's going from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we're going to go over here, and that is June the 7th. May... So we're going to make sure this lines up with theirs. June the 7th, so... 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. All right, so now we got our first event here. Um, that's pretty much done correctly, although I, I can see a couple of changes we need to make here. Let's just go ahead and save this right quick. Let's to go. Let's run through this right quick for a minute, and actually we can just go ahead and do the whole thing. So here's the title of the event: it is uh, bootstrapping minimal viable product, and I'll put presence in here too. Uh, Google proof SEO Actually let's change this up a little bit. Product present SEO Direct traffic at minimal viable product and presence, uh, and then Google proof SEO. All right, so you notice that it uh, ran out of characters there and told me that ah, you're out of characters for the uh, title, so we changed the title up a little bit. All right, so um, I'm going to make this title the same as the title of the event. Uh oh. Oh, good old um, meetup. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, this will be a highly enter. This event will be interactive. Be interactive. Mm -hmm. 
So see, the challenge with uh, Meetup is that, see, they've got this, I mean, it's sort of blue, and if you highlight it, it turns into a link, but that's uh, way less powerful than if we say strong style equal color blue uh, text decoration underline. Yeah, we got some special effects here. Back now from uh, the uh, big uh, superfood order that somebody just placed. Now, hmm. See, this is probably a really bad thing to put on an initial event because the Meetup people are going to look at that, and the Terms of Service for Meetup specifically says something about. Um, uh, creating these router groups is unacceptable. So I'm going to take this out. Uh, I, well, I'll change it to say instead of click here, um, I'm going to say um, this event um, is a joint venture with the is a and connection joint venture. Um, all right, so I should just be able to take this. Do, 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 do. And actually, little trick. Uh, oh, here we are. This is going to give me some link juice off this. I'm going to take my uh, home number out here and just put in the um, Skype. All right, so now let's put this in here and see. And the reason I did this is because um, I put a link in here boom all right um, let's just change this to green style color green just something a little different Just so it's not, um, it's some color di that's different than black, uh, just so it looks a little bit unusual. And we'll change this to uh, get a little contrast here purple. Okay. All 
Okay, so here we've got our event done now. Um, and we'll say um, in the meeting room. Okay, now, um, before we finish up this event, let's see, only organizers will be allowed to edit the event. That is true. Uh, don't repeat. We don't want to repeat this by the week or a month. Uh, I got to tell you, never, ever, ever um, set any of this stuff on uh, because what will happen is Meetup starts running a tab and will continue leave pester people if they haven't like paid dues and um, anyway it's a big hassle just if you're gonna take money take it uh, some other way uh, let's see uh, no attendee limit I'm gonna say a limit to 30 people I'm gonna say an automatic waiting list allow members to RSV or to attend up to, to let, allow members to attend with up to some number of guests I'm gonna say no so in other words if you'd like to RSVP do um, let's see, uh, when can members RSVP? Now, uh, members can RSVP until the meetup starts. Email settings, for God's sake, never leave this stuff on. The pri One of the primary reasons, maybe the primary reason people leave groups is because of email storms uh, from meetup. So I don't want to send any automatic reminders. Uh, email event. So, I'm going to leave this on, so this, the, I'm going to get an email as the host uh, if, if and when people RSVP. And no questions, uh, change details. Okay, now, I'm also going to say, uh, let's see, this is the 7th of Thursday, I'm going to say copy this. say part two and uh, let's see what is the date so that was on what the seventh and so I'm gonna flip this over to uh, Saturday the 9th and we're gonna go from uh, 10 o'clock because that's when beat opens till uh, noon So what I did is I just copied, no, I don't want to announce it, never announce it, never do anything that generates email. What you're going to do is anytime you'd like to email your members, you can say email members right here and you can send them a custom email. So send out a, like a newsletter every week or whatever. Uh, avoid the email storms. Nope. All right, now uh, we're going to go back to home. And I'm going to edit this slightly here and say part one. Now, if I've done everything correctly, oh yeah, all right, so here, here we go. Now, we've got a new group set up, and we have two meetups listed at physical venues um, you know shortly within the next few days and we'll make this one a featured meetup and we'll make this one a featured meetup too it just puts the little featured meetup tag thing across there 
for grams. It just makes it stand out a little bit more. So if we look at the long-term calendar here, uh, we do have, in fact, two meetups, Thursday the 7th, Saturday the 9th, uh, part one, part two. So, got a new group set up. Um, we've got uh, two meetups scheduled. Everything's uh, pretty much set to go. And now we just wait. Uh, we wait for a meetup to do the to go through their cycle of whether they're going to allow the group to make or they're going to bounce it. And um, we can already see um, uh, the people that have already uh, RSVP. There's already 12 people attending. Now it is. There is a potential that, um, you know, I might have 30 people RSVP and Ann might have 30 people RSVP. And, you know, having too many people there, um, we'll just deal with it if, if uh, too many people attend. And if this, this number, I'll track this number every few days. If that number gets up around uh, 25, then I'll drop my numbers back to maybe 10 on the RSVP. And uh, I think we're pretty much good, good to go there now. So everything's uh, set up and rocking and rolling. And I think that's a pretty good wrap for uh, sort of a, a walkthrough of a, a meetup for right now. And. Um, just keep in mind as you do anything with Meetup, uh, whether it's, um, we didn't go through the uh, specific ADA formula, formula on the events. I could probably go back and change that where, there, where it's a little bit, um, I, I could come up with a better event description and probably what I ought to do, um, put this as another line item on here, is to have a uh, event text port Folio, and actually go through and create um, ADA formatted um, chunks of text to, to uh, uh, talk about different events and have an event portfolio that organizers could go through. That sort of leads into the next topic that we'll talk about is how to use Meetup. And just in general, um, so what we did is we used Meetup to um, to start a Meetup group today. So that's kind of an advanced um, uh, sort of deal. The way you typically use Meetup to start with is you you know like uh, we'll search for marketing. Well, we'll we'll search for for blogging. So the way you typically use Meetup to start with, you'd go through and say um, uh, most members. The groups with meetups, so we're going to find the, the uh, meetup groups that are closest to us. Um, and, you know, the first way you use meetup is you go through and attend different events in your category and network with the organizers and attendees. And the next step is you, um, you know, soft pitch or wait to be pitched to be a speaker at those events. So it's usually best to let people know that you have that. Uh, you're available and a lot of times a soft pitch to an organizer is um, uh, gee Joe uh, you know I speak at a lot of events like uh, or a lot of uh, meetup groups like yours that have to do with uh, content marketing or um, metaphysical and spiritual topics you know just pick whatever random topic the meetup group is about and just tell them uh, you know I G. Joe, I speak at a lot of uh, meetup groups that um, are related to blah, blah, blah. And um, uh, be sure and add me or put me on your backup speaker list. So, you know, if you come up a few minutes before you've got an event and your speaker uh, is um, unable to attend for some reason, you can call me up. And if I'm in town, I'll just drive over and, um, you know, uh, give some sort of talk. 
And so what you you haven't said uh, you should have me as a speaker in your group. No, no, no. You say, well, you know, if you end up with a without a speaker for some reason on short notice, then you know I do this all the time. It's easy for me. Uh, just add me to your list. Um, and if and then you can go farther and say, well, you know, if you'd like me to uh, email you my info, then I can uh, or Skype you or call you and leave it. Whatever, whatever's the best way to do it. And um, uh, then the third step is um, after you know speaking at groups like that is to form your own group like we did and then do joint ventures like I'm doing a joint venture with uh, Anne Marie Pizarro at uh, Blint. So that's kind of the three step um, you know uh, attend and network with uh, attendees and organizers then um, you know pitch the organizers. Um, and then speak at groups is number two, and then uh, number three is run your own group. So uh, I think that'll be a wrap for now.